Into the Lord's feet of my sweet child, Nikta Lila for his own Vishnu Pakistan. She happy they dance for me. Today is an auspicious day, the birthday of Dushatan of Jiya Goswami. We don't observe Krishna and his incarnates of this eternity. Perhaps you all, not of Krishna, not of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not of the Lord Ram. But we of the mostly the day's appearance day of his associates. Why? Because it brings so many things about his worshipable Radha Krishna Mahaprabhu. How they have practiced bhakti yoga, and then they have received the service of Krishna. How from beginning of bhakti they accepted bhakti yoga, and how gradually of nishtha ruchi asakti and parati came. This is more important. You know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself 
Krishna taking the beauty and intrinsic mood of Radhika. He came. But Sridharu Goswami established his swabhishtments in a most hard feelings. He established. If Sridharu Goswami was not there, Perhaps we could not have known who was the Tani Mahārāja. But in you know also that Jīva Goswāmī has served to the Rūpa Goswāmī. All the collections of the books, publications, which we are now seeing, it is due to the Jīva Goswāmī. He collected all the literatures so, and he has established the Mano Vilasa of Srila Rupushwan. How? Publishing his books. How publishing? At that time, it was very hard by writing. He wrote all these things. His all books with his pain. And also, he preached especially to Shyamanan, Narottam, and Srinivasa. He was the almost very rising learned person at that time to establish Rukhushan. Wrote so many commentaries because he always read Rukhushan. So he did. He no Jiva Goswami, and I think that all his books there, going and were lost. 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 So, Madhav Maharaj may speak in pre his life. Not so much. Time. You should be, you should carefully hear and try to keep all in your heart and practice like you. चक्षुरुन्मिलितंजेनापस्मैस्वीगुरवेनमहं्संखापुरवकनामगाननतिभीकालावसानीपितोऽनिद्राहारबिहारकारिविजितोऽचत्तंददिनोऽचजोराधा
this world and that transcendental world. <laughs> so, when he was young, he used to serve Rubhuvaswami, and Rubhuvaswami has ordered him to collect his literature. So now in can we come in our mind, so Rubhuvaswami part in one hand, eternal associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Mahaprabhu's Rup, and other hand, eternal associates of divine couple as Rup Manjari. Is there any fault in the literature? How is this possible? And why Rup Goswami order him to collect his literature? How we can reconcile this? Sri Rup Goswami, when he used to write, he absorbed in his mood, then he forgets that his grammatical is correct or not. So, Jigvasami will correct that grammatical thing, not his mood. So, when he was writing about uh, Guru Bhakti, Guru Nishta in him, so, first is Guru Nishta. So, Guru Nishta is the backbone of bhajan. So, Jigvasami taught us in his life history. So once Rupa Singh was writing Bhukti Rasam with Sindhu, the meantime, one very large scholar of India named Vallabhacharya came to Rupa Sami. And he was older than Rupa Sami because he made it... He was older also than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. He is even older than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he took Rup Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his birthplace near Prayag, Arayilga, and Rukhvasami also there with Mahaprabhu at that time. So when he came to Vrindavan, and during Darshan, he met with Rukhvasami and told Rup, what are you writing at the now at present time? I want to correct your literature. Rukhvasami, the embodiment of humility, or yes, this is my good function. So after that, he went to Jamuna for taking bath. Jivuva Sami, he was so much nista of his Gurudev, he could not tolerate, tolerate this thing. What? He wants to correct my Gurudev Sita Rachel? What kind of human being is this? He could not tolerate this. So he make a trick. Oh, there is no water, I have to go to bring water from Jamuna. In this pretend, he took a water pitcher and went to Jamuna. And he asked, he paid respect to him and asked, Oh, you want to correct my Gurudev literature? Oh Prabhu. Oh Prabhu, <laughs> you told that you want to correct Srila Rupasana's literature? What fault you have seen there? Then you want to correct that thing? Then Bhagavacharya told, yes, I have seen in his literature, Bhukti Mukti Spriha Javad, Pisachi Hidi Vartate, Tavad Bhakti Sukhasatra Pathamad Buddha Yobhave. Meaning of this law, the desire of Bhukti and desire of Mukti means Bhukti means to enjoy and mukti means liberation. When these two desires will be heart of a sadhak, then bhakti devi never manifests in sadhak's heart. So Balavachari told he compares bhakti and mukti like a witch. How it is possible? Jiva Goswami humbly replied, no, no, he is not compare bhakti and mukti with a witch. The desire of bhukti and desire of mukti, this like a witch. If the desire of bhukti and mukti means liberation and to enjoy this desire in our heart, then bhukti that will be far away from our heart. So the desire of bhukti and mukti like a witch, they can swallow us completely. Why not uh, bhukti? Why not bhukti and mukti? Not why Rukhvasam not compare bhukti and mukti like a witch? Because bhukti and mukti, 
They are not which? Why not? Hmm? Because in Srimad Bhagavatam so many times. So, if someone receives bhakti, bhakti manifests somebody's heart, being coupled merciful, then bhakti is the istiratara bhagavat jadi said, doivina phalati dibba kisaura murti, mukti saram mukulitan jali savati asman, dharma artha kama gatayo samaya pratiksha. If bhakti the will manifest in somebody's heart, then Mukti Sara Mukuli Tanjali, Mukti Devi, she will fold it, she will fold his hand and always be ready to get any permission from the devotee. Please engage me in service of your Prabhu. I am ready to service. So Mukti wants to serve Bhagavan and want to help the devotee. And you he have heard about the dialogue between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarvam Bhattacharya. They are also Mukti Padesha Dayabhar. He will be inheritant of Mukti. Sarvam Bhattacharya could not tolerate this. Then he changed the verse and told Bhakti Padesha Dayabhar. Mahabharu, no, no, it was carried in Bhagavad. Bhagavad is beyond any error, no error is needed there. In so many places, Mukti is glorifying by so many Acharyas and Srimad Bhagavatam. So Mukti Devi is not a witch. So Jibu Goswami gave so many, gave so many examples and Balavacharya became speechless. When he came back, and Jibu Goswami came, came back, again he came back to Rupa Goswami and told Rupa, who is this boy who was fanning you? Then Rupa Goswami understood that Jeeva Goswami makes some notorious thing with him, must be any direct according to Shastra. Rupa Goswami humbly replied, my nephew and disciple. After some time, that old large person, person went there from there, then Rupa Goswami called Jeev, you could not tolerate this old Brahman, could not give you proper respect, Rupa Goswami not asked anything to him. Rupa Goswami understood and told, you go to his side, go his direction. This two meaning of his direction. His direction means, go to your previous village. This is like Purvaksham. And Jeeva Goswami took this, it means his direction of Braj. So he went to Namdaghat Bhaigaon. And he lives in the hole of crocodile. Always sweeping. Haru, Ha Sanatan, please be merciful on me and stop eating, drinking everything. Day by day, he gets skinny and so many itches come all over body. And Sanatan Goswami always move here and there in brush and he well known in whole brush, Bora Baba. And all over brush, they respect Sanatan Goswami so much. When Sanatana Goswami did his journey, arrived at the village, they told, Oh, Bala Baba, we have one Chota Baba also here in our village. He is so renounced. We never seen our whole life. Everyone is renounced than you also. Always only weeping, Haru, Ha Sanatana, please be merciful on me. Sometimes taking the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, sometimes taking the name of Divine Kapu, weeping and weeping only. Then Sanatan Goswami understood, this is not other than Jeev. Then Sadhana asked, can you show me? Then they took Sanatan Goswami to Jeev Goswami. Sanatan Goswami brought him with him and one day discussion was going on, Rupa Goswami was giving discussion. Then Sanatan Goswami asked, what is the duty of a Goswami towards living entity means Jeeva? Then Nur Goswami told, be mercy towards living entity, means Jeeva. Here Jeeva means two meanings. Sanatana Goswami wants to say, what is the duty of Krishna work to this boy Jeev? And Nur Goswami is telling for all Jeev. Then Sanatana Goswami told, Sanatana Goswami was elder brother and guru of Srila Goswami. 
Then Sahakana Goswami told, if the duty of a Vaishnava be merciful towards G, why you not be merciful this G? Then Sahakana Goswami brought G and put him in the lap of Rudh Goswami. And both Guru and sister began to weep bitterly. Rudh Goswami also was weeping and Jeev Goswami also was weeping. So here Jeev Goswami showed us that how Guru Nishtha was so strong in his heart, even he could not tolerate any kind of defame of his Gurudev. So we have to be strong enough, have to take instruction from Jeev Goswami, how to respect Gurudev, how to serve Gurudev. If anyone will defame our Gurudev, we shall cut their all arguments by our Satya Praman. If could not do so, have to keep our put ear plug and check bath in Ganga, Jamuna, Rosan with full cloth. And if you are so powerful, then like Hanuman, he who won the whole Lanka. For this reason, Sila, Vrindamanda Thakur told, Yato pari hare jehi pati ninda kare, tabelati marata chire rupare. Hearing the glory of Nittananda Prabhu, even his sinner, yet it is a Nittananda Prabhu, I shall kick on his head. So we have to be so bold like Hanuman or Jinda Bandhastakur, who ever criticize our Gurudev, we shall cut their all arguments. And but if Gurudev should be very... And Gurudev must be very bona fide, not so called Gurudev. So now one inquiry may come in our mind. If Rukhvasam is bona fide Gurudev, he is second body of Srinivar Mahaprabhu and Jivgasam is also eternal associate of Mahaprabhu and divine couple. There is no fault among between them. So if Jivgasam is correct, then other hand Rukhvasam must be wrong. If Rukhvasam is correct, then Jivgasam must be wrong. But wrong word is not in their dictionary, in their character. So how we can reconcile this? Srila Jivgasam, he did, he act like a disciple, and Rukhvasami also acts like a Gurudev. What Rukhvasami act, he has acted. He acted like a bona fide Gurudev. He was embodiment of humility. And Jeev Goswami was also a very mature disciple, too much nishtha towards Gurudev, which he did, is also correct. So by this you have to reconcile. And other thing we shall listen from Gurudev's lotus after that, something shaman. Other important thing of his life. Oh, Gyanam Timiranda Sid, Gyanam Jamasalakaya, Chasturam Nidhitam Yem, it was my Sri Guru Namah. First, I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramaraja Tama Guru Pada Padma, Nichirima Pravishta, Om Vishnu Pada, Stokadis of the Sri Srimad, Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramaraja Tama Guru Pada Padma, Om Vishnu Pada, Stokadis of the Sri Srimad, Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. Sri Jiva Goswami was described very poetically and beautifully by Srila Gurudev in a Mathura lecture in 1992 on this same disappearance day, anniversary. He said that Jiva Goswami established the integrity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood, which he gave to all fortunate Jivas of Parikhi above, of the gopis, which was later on taught by Sri Rupa Goswami, by taking the river, the ever-flowing river of Ras, of Radha and Krishna's pastimes, and blocking all sides, both sides of the river with the very strong and powerful rocks of strong philosophical conclusions. 
In this way, he protected that river from the contamination of the water of misconceptions. Very beautifully put by our Srila Gurudev. You understand this thing? What she told? You? You could not hurt? You realize what she said told? <coughs> Many of them, they could not hurt. So, Sri Sri Radha Krishna's pastimes are the highest conclusive truths and the ultimate goal of all jivas, all fortunate jivas. These uh, pastimes of the Lord are misunderstood by our mundane vision and especially unscrupulous personalities take advantage of our shortcomings and teach the misconceptions far and wide. Jiva Goswami established the uh, purity of Radha Krishna's pastimes by strong philosophy establishing how Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, how Radharani and the gopis are his own internal powers and potencies, shaktis. They are owned by him, so although it appeared that he was dancing with other persons' wives, actually all other persons' wives belong to Krishna, not the opposite. In order to help less intelligent people to come into Vaishnavism, who would otherwise misunderstand the paramour pastimes of Radha and Krishna and the gopis, Sri Jiva Goswami appeared to have established Swaki Abhav, or Radha and Krishna as a married couple. Because if they would uh, try to understand their paramour relationship, then they would do then, 500 years ago, what they're doing now. They would say that this is mundane, and they would also imitate them, where you find men dressed as uh, women and having illicit relationships in the name of Paraki Abhav Sadhana, thinking that they'll get perfection, but actually they go to hell by lusty activities. Srila Gurudev explained in his Gurudev's biography that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was externally in a male form, but internally he was in the mood of a gopi, whereas these personalities they're um, externally dressed as a woman, as a gopi, but internally they have the male bhav, purusha bhav, of lusty feelings towards women, so by their activities they go to hell. Some people criticized Jiva Goswami and said that he was not following the principles of Sri Rupa Goswami which is Paraki Abhav, which is established by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur, who is accepted by Acharya as the incarnation of Rupa Goswami, came and protected the integrity and established the integrity of Sri Jiva Goswami's teachings. As Sri Padmada Maharaj mentioned, it's the duty of the disciple to defend the bona fide spiritual master against all offenses and all attacks of misconceptions. Gurudev said, if somebody says, because one disciple or several disciples were thinking, that if we say something or write something to defend Gurudev against other people who are um, blessing him, misunderstanding him, saying bad things about him, that he's not actually in Guru Prampara. Actually, we should love all Vaishnavas, no matter what they say about our Guru. We should all chant Hare Krishna and love each other, and be humble more than a breath of grass. But Gurudev said, anyone who thinks like that, he said, if somebody says your Guru is engaged in sense gratification, what will you do, smile and show your teeth? If you yourself cannot defend your guru, 
then if you don't support someone who's defending your guru, then you're not my disciple. Rather, he said, anyone who doesn't um, fulfill the manubhisya of his spiritual master and doesn't defend his Gurudev and proper Siddhanta, he's actually not a disciple, but he's a eunuch. Gurudev said that when someone said that the uh, Ratha Yatra established by his Guru Maharaj, Shilabhati Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, was not authorized to be done in Navadweep, Gurudev began writing a very strong articles against that offense to his Guru Maharaj. And then it created a great agitation on the other side, and they began writing articles. And these articles went on back and forth for a whole year, creating tremendous agitation. And Gurudev again did that against the Sahajis who were misunderstanding the Lord's mood, that is Krishna's mood, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood, and the mood of his associates, because Gurudev wrote the book, Five Essential Essays, and distributed them freely. And Gurudev said again, that created a great tumultuous agitation. But this is the duty of the disciple to protect the integrity of the Guru Parampara. So Jiva Goswami, in order to bring in those who would misunderstand the Lord's pastimes, he, and only he could have brilliantly done that, established Swati above in Radha Krishna mood, which is that they are a married couple, so that people could gradually have faith that yes, they're bona fide, and gradually come into Vaishnavism. But Srila Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur explains that actually Jiva Goswami is the perfect follower of Srila Rupa Goswami because he's not really saying Swati above. What does Swa mean? Swa means own. It means um, married, but it also means own, of his own. Radha and the gopis are Krishna's own internal potency. They're not different from him. And parakya, para, they are parashakti. Srimati Radhika is the embodiment of parashakti, Krishna's supreme transcendental power, which, as Sri Jiva Goswami himself explains in Tattva Sandarbha, that by his own desire, Krishna's Parashakti, his supreme transcendental energy, manifests the absolute truth that supreme Sri Krishna in four features. She manifests his own Swarup, um, Swayam Bhagavan, his own original form is Krishna, his touch by Baba Roop, that is all of his expansions beginning from Sri Baladevji, all of his abodes, all of his associates, his um, Jiva Vivanansa potency, us, the living entities, and also Pradhan, his material energies. So, Srimati Radhika is Krishna's Pada Tattva, sorry, Pada Shakti. And so she is, her relationship is in Pada Kiya. She's not any other. Pada also means others. But she's not any other. She's Krishna's supreme potency, Krishna's own potency. And therefore, Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur explains that really Srila Jiva Goswami is saying that Swati above and Pariki above both exist harmoniously and beautifully in the Supreme Lord of Gokula in Goloka Vrindavan. There are many accusations of Sri Jiva Goswami against him, and our Srila Prabhupada, who is also his defender, explains some of these in his Chaitanya Charitamrita purports. That is another incident where Jiva Goswami defended Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanatan Goswami was when some wandering big Vijay went to Rupa and Sanatan and said, 
I'm challenging you to a debate in philosophy. And if you're defeated by me, then you should sign a statement that I'll be able to show to everyone that I've defeated you. So rather than waste their time, because no one wants to waste their time in arguing with someone who won't accept good arguments and agree to be defeated if his opponent has better arguments. So rather than waste their time, they immediately sign the paper, yes, we are defeated by you. When Srila Jiva Goswami found out about this, he told that person, first you defeat the disciple, and then we'll see if you've actually defeated the master. So Jiva Goswami is accused of not being humble. But as Srila Gurudev just explained, it's the duty of the guru to be very humble, but it's the, guru of, the duty of the disciple to not tolerate any offense to his bona fide Gurudev. So actually, Jiva Goswami was being the perfect disciple by defending his Gurudev. And he wrote, he's known as the greatest scholar of his time, as Gurudev just mentioned. Despite, it's normal, it's normal for bona fide acharyas to be accused of so many things. Like Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, there was an attempted murder against him, murder of him, because when they threatened, when the, um, what do you call those, uh, Brahmins, smart Brahmins, challenged him that if you don't stop preaching Radhanuga Bhakti, then we're going to have to do something. So he didn't stop, and so they tried to murder him. They found him, they looked for him and searched, searched everywhere where he was doing his bhajan in Vrindavan, very early in the Brahma Mahorta time of the morning. And they thought, they saw, thought that they saw him entering into some kunj. So they went in there, and they didn't see him anymore, but they saw a very young, beautiful Kishori girl, teenager, 12 and a half years old. And they asked, she was just picking flowers, and they asked, have you seen a sadhu around? And she said, yes, I saw him for some time, but then I think he went in that direction. So they went in that direction, but then they looked back towards the beautiful Kishori, and they saw that she was actually Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. So they immediately surrendered to him and became his disciples and preached on his behalf. So the, uh, the next acharyas are always defending the previous acharyas. So Srila Jiva Goswami also was accused and he was accused that Sri Krishna Kaviraj Goswami, the author of Chaitanya Charitamrita, showed his unpublished manuscript to Jiva Goswami, and Jiva Goswami became very furious that, oh, now he will be known as a greater scholar than myself. So he took his Chaitanya Charitamrita manuscript and threw it in a well. So Krishna Kaviraj Goswami became so shocked that he immediately died, but some man named Mukunda had an extra copy and that's how it got published. So it's normal that the Acharyas, the great Acharyas, will be accused of so many things. Why? Because bhakti is not easy. It's very, very difficult and rare to come to bhakti. So the Pure devotees, the acharyas, are. Hmm? This is false allegation. Yes, our Prabhupada is saying this is a false allegation. So, no need of. So, my only point was that our Srila Prabhupada was saying how this is a false allegation. Very and, strong. Very Okay. Okay. Go for him and
Satyam, we are very hankering of making so many disciples. Oh, disciples, disciples, disciples. Even by it, hmm? spending so much money, making so many balas, agents, agents, that if you bring five disciples, I will pay so much. <laughs> now a day is going to walk. But you go swimming, or any of the Goswami, six Goswami, Krishna Dasya Goswami. How many disciples? Srila Rabhnath Das Goswami, Srila Sanatana Goswami, Rup Goswami, Rabhnath Bhatta, Srila Rabhnath Goswami has no disciples at all. But whole world is the disciple. Shamananda, Prabhu came, but he was initiated by any guru, but Narottam Thakur and Srinivas were not initiated by anyone. They came in the center of Jeeva Goswami. Jeeva Goswami, oh, he taught them all the Shastra, Ved Upanishad Shastra, everything. All the thoughts. They wanted to be initiated by Jeeva Goswami, but Jeeva Goswami refused and told that, Oh, there are so many elevated Vaishnava more than me. Oh, please, you should go to Dokta. And you should go to Gopal Why? They were, they were not intended to go to them. They wanted that you are my guru. And they have accepted him like But yet, they followed the instructions of Srila Jeeva Goswami. Then Narottam Thakur went to Loknath Prabhu. And went to Gopal Prabhu. You see that, oh, Loknath Goswami, he refused to give initiation. But for so many years perhaps he waited and he even cleared this tool of the look broken. I mean in night. Then Loknath Goswami was bound to give him Similarly, Gopal Bhatt never made any disciple. But, oh, by the request of Srila Jeeva he accepted only one disciple, like And they, and they, they, they two and three, oh, they went to Bengal and collected thousands and thousands of Why? In the same way, like Sri Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami and his Gurudev. His Gurudev was Sri Prabhupada. He never accepted any disciple. Only by the special request of Sri Prabhupada. And he saw his also hard that if I am not initiating, he will drop. So he was bound to give initiation. Bound. Guru was fine, bomb, and he gave initiation. But oh, except him, no initiation to anyone. And he, that disciple, Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Swati, what he did, miracle. Oh, whole Bengal, whole India, and after that, whole world he gave disciple. But who is more? Merciful, guru or disciple? Pick another. Most of them are not. But we see that that disciples are more merciful than guru. Why? We see for us I am telling, not for. You know that 
लोकनाथ गोस्वामी टोल I wanted to discuss something about bhajan or rahasya written by Sir Bhakti Nanda. Sir Bhakti Nanda Thakur is called Patmanjay, Kamala Manjay. How he used to do bhajan? At the time of he was magistrate officer. In that time in court, after court he has to write his judgments. So many books he wrote in night, taking something very light and sleeping at about 9 and 10. Work up in the early or at 12 or 1 and do so many things. Bhajan as a gopi, RPA gopi, always remembering Ashtakaliya Lila, totally observed. In that. 
and in the morning again, writing judgment and And at that time he has written so many, more than hundred books, hundred books, in so many languages, even in English. Yes. So, Jaiva Dharma Granta is higher in the Tattva, but I consider myself O Bhajan Rahasyam Bho I Bho Father Amun Paras has written for us this is a treasure treasure for us so I began eating where? Put, Jagannath Puri or Pita only I finished two chapters but not fully, not fully, but I think. And that all, he divided our bhajan in eight classes. Like Krishna, past and past divided into eight, uh, eight parts. Ashtakali, Lila. Similarly, he divided. Or bhajan into eight parts. Morning, uh, Nishanta. What is Nishanta? <coughs> end of night. End of night. Last part. Morning. Then, Purbanana. And then, Nikhde. Then, Purbanana. Purbanana. Vanna, and then Sayanna, and then evening, and then midnight, eight parts. Or bhajan is like that. First part of our bhajan is what? Sadhu Shankar. Yes, told. Shraddha in Sadhu Sangha. Shraddha. How Shraddha begins? In Shadhu Shraddha. That will explain that we, who are we? We are eternal servant of the Krishna. And you must serve Krishna. You must charm. Don't have any worldly desire. Don't engage yourself in worldly sense gratification. Krishna is very powerful. He has invested his all powers in his holy name, holy name, Sravanam, Kirtanam, in all nine or sixty-four kinds of of all are very powerful. You will be happy. You cannot be happy by collecting so many things for your sense gratification. Especially money, money, money and money. <laughs> it can. Oh, money will give you danger in life. Don't go. Money cannot give you happiness and how oh, many days in your life. If you have money, anyhow you can make it favorable for bhakti. But don't want money. If money goes, then pray to Krishna that, oh, you are very hot, you know, merciful that you, everything you have taken and made me <laughs> like this. And then, oh, like Srivast Pandit, take some Bajira and Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. <laughs> if he did like, man, <laughs> ah, 
you are doing? <laughs> you are doing nothing. How you will maintain your life, your life and your family life? Then he told you, hey, what is this? One, two, three. <laughs> then he told, oh. we are chanting and doing kirtan. Four brothers, four brothers, no marriage. Four brothers were. <laughs> then, oh, we are family. So, if not, we cannot do any maintenance we will fast for one day. And then, oh, second also, second day we will fast. And third day also. But if fourth day no, nothing, we will jump in. Mahaprabhu told, oh, Lakshmi can take anything. Lakshmi, God is a person. Oh. But you will have not to be. I will carry, carry all the Tarkhan area for you. Personally. And he did. So we should also know the object of life is happiness. But what kind of happiness? By serving Krishna. By practicing bhakti yoga. And if you are not doing, you are nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Prabhupada, you, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami. Oh, Rashtra. <laughs> I, I cannot tell like you. <laughs> but you can think what he told that I am Rashtra. <laughs> Always engaged in money. Vaishnava has come to your house from India and you have no time at all to hear. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, I will not tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, by all Harikatha, at once he had a strong belief and did something happened. And this is called I have explained all this. But you should remember one thing. If Sraddha is there, you have it. And Sraddha is really in your heart. But no sadhu son, then what will we be? Sraddha will go very soon because you are not so When you will come in our stage, even sannyas will not save you. Sannyas will not. So many sannyas will not fall. But anyone coming in our stage, oh, and bhakti may. Like Haidar Sabu, what he told, if anyone will kill us, murder me. Even I will not stop chanting. Now, that so many are asking. They have taken diksha also, second initiation. And they are asking Gurudev, I have so many problems, I have no money. So they stop chanting, chanting and uh, serving deity and what to do. I cannot maintain. Please allow me not to chant and not to serve deities and everything. I replied, Oh, I cannot. I cannot approve this. I can't. Allow this. Allow. Never, never. You should die, but I cannot <laughs> allow you to stop chanting and even one round you should go on doing. Even if not mala, but you should do. You should serve the deity that you are serving. No harm. But I will not allow. So, we have discussed all these things. I wanted to discuss. So, we will discuss something. Today is perhaps a drama play. 
after that, oh, have a Christian group Christian. And drama play you should. That was the ready and come. Bow Preman. Bow glory to I wanted to discuss something about bhajan or ahasya written by Sila Bhakti Nuna. Sila Bhakti Nuna Thakur is called Patmanje, Kamala Manje. How he used to do bhajan? At the time of he was magistrate officer. In that time in court, after court he had to write his judgments. So many books he wrote in night, taking something very loyal and sleeping at about nine and ten. Work up, up in the early or at twelve or one. And do so many things. Bhajan as a gopi, Arti a gopi, always remembering Ashtakali Arida, totally observed. in that. And in the morning again, writing judgments and And at that time he has written so many more than hundred books, hundred books, in so many languages, even in English. <coughs> so, Jaiva Dharma Ghanta is higher in the tattva. But I consider myself O bhajan rahasyam ho I hate. for us has written for us. This is a treasure, treasure for us. So I began eating where? For Jagannath Pura? Or Only I finished two chapters, but not fully, not fully, but I think. And that all, he divided our bhajan in eight classes. Like Krishna, past and past divided into eight, huh? eight parts. Ashtakali a Lila. Similarly, he divided or bhajan into eight parts. 
morning uh, Nishan, no? what is Nishan? <laughs> end of night, end of night, last part of morning, then Purvanaha, and then midday, then Purvanaha, 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 and then Sayanaha, and then evening, and then midnight, eight points. Or bhajan is like that. First part of our bhajan is what? Sadhu Sangha. Yes, so. Sadha in Sadhu Sangha. That will explain that we who are we, we are eternal servant of the Krishna. And you must serve Krishna. You must charm. Don't have any worldly desire. Don't engage yourself in worldly sense gratification. Krishna is very powerful. He has invested his all powers in his holy name, holy name, Sravanam, Kirtanam, in all nine or sixty-four kinds of them. All are very powerful. You will be happy. You can't be happy by collecting so many things for your sense gratification, especially money, money, money and money. <laughs> it can. Oh, money will give you danger in life. Don't go. Money cannot give you happiness and calm and peace in your life. If you have money, anyhow you can make it favorable for bhakti. But don't want money. If money goes, then pray to Krishna that, oh, you are very poor, you know, merciful that you, everything you have taken and made me. <laughs> like this. And then, oh, like Srivast Pandit, Take some Bajira and Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. If he did like man, what are you are doing? <laughs> you are doing nothing. How you will maintain your life, your life and your family life? Then he told you, and he told you. What is this? One, two, three. <laughs> then he told, oh. we are chanting and doing kirtan. All brothers, four brothers, no marriage. Four brothers were. <laughs> then, oh, we are chanting. So, if not, we cannot do any maintenance. We will fast for one day. And then, mm -hmm. oh, second also, second day we will fast. And third day also. But if fourth day no, nothing, we will jump in. Mahaprabhu told, oh, Lakshmi can beg anything. Lakshmi, God is a but you will have not to be. I will carry, carry all the personal area for you. Personal. And he did. So we should also know the object of life 
is happiness. But what kind of happiness? By serving Krishna. By practicing bhakti yoga. And if you are not doing, you are nonsense. Prabhupada you Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami. Oh Rashtra. And I cannot tell like him. But you can see what he told that I am Rashtra. Always engaged in money. Vaishnava has come to your house from India and you have no time at all to hear. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh, I will not tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, by all Harikatha, at once he has a strong belief and get something happening. And this is called I have explained all this. But you should remember one thing. If Sraddha is there, you have it. And Sraddha is really in your heart. But no sadhu son, then what will be? be? That Sraddha will go very soon because you are not so. When you will come in our state, even sannyas will not save you. Sannyas means? He will not. So many sannyas will not fall. But anyone coming in our state, oh, and bhakti means? Like Haridas Sabu, what he told? If anyone will kill us, murder me, even I will not stop chanting Krishna. Now, that so many are asking. They have taken diksha also, second initiation. And they are asking Gurudev, I have so many problems, I have no money. So they stop chanting, chanting and uh, serving deity and what to do. I can maintain. Please allow me not to chant and not to serve deities and everything. I replied, Oh, I cannot. I cannot approve this. I can allow this. Allow. Never, never. You should die, but I cannot <laughs> allow you to stop chanting and even one round you should go on doing. Even if not mala, but you should do. You should serve the deity that you are serving. No harm. But I will not allow. So, we have discussed all these things. I wanted to discuss. So we will discuss something. Today is perhaps a drama play. After that, oh, have a Christian good Christian. And drama play you should. At one spirity and kind. Long Preman, all glory to Asana Guru.